In this video, we are going to have a look at how to do a mediation analysis through using bootstrapping. The reason why we would want to use bootstrapping is when we're dealing with samples which are too small to generate the amount of power that we might need in order to estimate the significance of indirect effects. But thanks to the easy buttons in Amos, we are going to be able to bootstrap pretty simply. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to test the relationships between A trust and C trust on Loy Long and how they will be or be not mediated by a fourth variable. So the first thing that we want to do is to set up the bootstrap. We set up the bootstrap through clicking on the analysis properties button. Then we click on the bootstrap tab. We click perform bootstrap. Now the standard number of bootstrap samples is 200, but in order to get the power that we need, I think we need something substantially larger, something like 2000. We also want bias corrected confidence intervals. And I think a value of 95 is pretty good here. This means that we want to be at least 95% sure that the effects that we are estimating actually do exist. We also need to go to the output tab. And in the output tab, we want to choose indirect, direct, and total effects so that we actually get numbers for the effects that we're trying to estimate. So we can go ahead and close that window. And now we're going to run this to see if there are direct effects between A trust, C trust, and Loy Lung. That is, whether these paths are significant or not. So run it. And this is about as exciting as it's going to get in Amos. You'll see it start here in a minute. I'm doing this on a Mac, so uh, sometimes the uh, virtualization is a bit slow. All right, well, we didn't see the numbers go there, but I think that we might have our estimates ready anyhow. So let's click view text. You click estimates, matrices, and direct effects. Then we go down here to the bootstrap section. We click bootstrap confidence, click bias corrected percentile method, and then we click two tailed significance. So what we have here are p-values, and basically they are telling us that the path between C-trust and Loy Lung and the path between A-trust and Loy Lung, they are significant because both of them are below our cutoff of 0.05. So I'll go back to the path diagram to show you what that means. That means that this path between A-trust and Loy Lung is significant. This path between C-trust and Loy Lung is significant. Now, why is this important? Well, it is important in order for us to be able to establish whether there is a mediation or not, there needs to be a direct effect that can be mediated. So establishing the initial direct effect as significant is a necessary precondition for seeing if there's anything to mediate at all. All right, let's add a mediating variable. So we're clicking list variables in data set. And we're going to drag the value variable here. Close this. We're going to add an error variance here. And we want to name that. So we double click on it. And we're going to name it E1 so it's consistent with the other error variance that we have here. Click out of this window. And now we're going to draw paths that establish the mediation. So these paths that I'm drawing right now, they basically represent a hypothesis that overall value mediates the relationship between A trust and Loy Long. This arrow in combination with this arrow represents a hypothesis that C trust no, that overall value mediates the relationship between C trust and Loy Long. All right, so we're going to tidy that up a bit so we mark all of them at the same time we choose the magic wand and we click all right good and now we're going to run this model again i'm 
All right, there you see generating the bootstrap samples. And we're done. Now we click on view text again to get the output. Click on estimates. Click on matrices. And click on indirect effects. And then we go down to bootstrap confidence, bias corrected percentile method, and two tailed significance. Now, here we have p values again, and they test the, the indirect effect between C trust and Loilong and A trust and Loilong. And the indirect effect, that's the effect of the mediating path from A trust through overall value to Loilong, from C trust to through overall value to Loilong. In other words, what we have here is that we know that there's some kind of mediation going on, but we don't know if this mediation is full or if it's partial. Now, in order to establish whether the mediation is full or partial, we go to direct effects. In direct effects, we can see that most of the paths here are significant. However, this path between C trust and Loilong is not significant because it's above the cutoff value of 0.05. Now, what does this mean? Well, if we go back to the path diagram, this means that the relationship between C trust and Loilong is completely mediated by overall value, since the path between C trust and Loilong now is insignificant. If we go back here, we can see that the relationship between a trust and Loilong, it's still significant. That means that this path is still significant and this effect, this indirect effect is significant. That means that in the upper half here, we have a partial mediation. So that's how easy it is to do a bootstrap for mediation in Amos.